Now let's work on this problem. 73. What is the average rate of change of the function f of x, which is equal to x cubed minus 5x plus 4, from x equals 3 to x equals, I said that wrong, from x equals 1 to x equals 3. Now, if we want to find the average rate of change of a function, let's say over the interval a to b, or which is from x equals a to x equals b, here's what you need to do. It's going to be f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So in this example, a is 1, b is 3. So this is going to be f of 3 minus f of 1 over 3 minus 1. So let's evaluate the function at 3. We're going to replace x with 3. So it's 3 to the third minus 5 times 3 plus 4. Now, let's calculate f of 1. So let's plug in 1 into that function. This is going to be 1 to the third minus 5. That's a terrible looking 5. So minus 5 times 1 plus 4. And 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, 3 to the third power, that's going to be 3 times 3 times 3. That's 27. 5 times 3 is 15. And don't forget to distribute the negative sign. So we're going to have negative 1 plus 5 minus 4. So right now, we could cancel 4 and negative 4. 27 minus 15 is 12. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So the average rate of change is 8. So D is the right answer. 74. The table below shows the total distance, that is in meters, traveled by a car and the corresponding time in seconds as well. What is the average rate of change of the total distance of the vehicle from 10 seconds to 25 seconds? So based on the last example, go ahead and try this problem. So the average rate of change is going to be the distance or the change in distance divided by the change in time. So we want to find the answer from 10 seconds to 25 seconds. So T1 is going to be 10. D1, the distance that corresponds to that time, is 184. T2 is 25, or 25 seconds. D2 is going to be 958 meters. So let's plug in what we have right now. So let's replace D2 with 958, D1 with 184, T2 with 25, and T1 with 10. Nine fifty eight minus one hundred eighty four. That's going to be seven hundred seventy four. Now let's say if it's not a calculated problem, here's what you can do to subtract it. So eight minus four is four. We can't do five minus eight because that's going to give us a negative number. So we need to borrow a one from nine. Turning that to eight, five becomes fifteen. Fifteen minus eight is seven, and eight minus one is seven. So we get 774. 25 minus 10 is 15. Now I'm going to use the calculator for this part. You could use long division if you want to. 774 divided by 15 is 51.6. Now the units, what do you think the units is going to be? So notice that we're dividing meters by seconds. So this is going to be meters per second. The average rate of change of distance with respect to time is speed. Let's work on one more problem similar to the last one. So we have the annual sales of company XYZ. And we have the year that corresponds to, that, to those sales. What is the average rate of change of the annual sales of the company covering the five-year period from 2012 to 2017? So what we're going to do is take the cells at, let's say, a second point minus the cells at the first point and subtract it by T2 and T1. 
So the first point is at 2012. The second point is 2017. So our T1 value is 2012. Our S1 value is the sales during that year. That's 9.8 million. T2 is 2017. And the sales for that year is 7.3 million. So let's plug in what we have. S2 is 7.3 million. S1 is 9.8 million. T2 is 2017 minus T1. 7 minus 3 is negative 2. 8 minus 3 is 5. So 7.3 minus 9.8, that's going to be 2.5. So over the five-year period, the annual sales dropped by 2.5 million. 17 minus 12 is 5. Now what is 2.5 divided by 5? We know that 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 2.5 divided by 5 is 0.5. If you break down 2.5 into 5 equal point, I mean, not points, but if you break down 2.5 into 5 equal parts, that's what I meant to say, you're going to get 0.5. So the average rate of change in the annual sales of the company per year is negative 0.5 million. So on average, every year, the annual sales is decreasing by half a million or 500,000. So you don't want to buy the stock in this company. They're not doing too well. So now you know how to calculate the average rate of change of something. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.